Thanks for being back if you are. I am. And I'm back with a huge, that's my head, coffee with some cinnamon. And I'm sipping this in between. So if there's something on my teeth, it's just cinnamon. And as you can see, I'm a bit blonder again. I'm back blonder again because it turns out I wanted to let my hair grow, grow a little bit and see what's going on over there, how white I am. And it turns out in the front I'm pretty white, like there's a lot of white in between. And I don't like it when it's dark and white, like my dark, it's pretty gray by itself. So if there's white in it, it makes it look pretty gray, like a bit too gray, too serious. So I'm not that serious. <laughs> so I'm back being a bit blunt so I can have more fun. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now I'm being completely out of just being myself. <laughs> so today I might do first the base actually, which I never, I don't think I ever done that, or maybe once. And just apply a few different lipsticks without anything on my eyes. Uh, brighter lipsticks, maybe just curl lashes a bit and see what it will look like. Because I tend to, if I start with the eyes, I already overdid them and then whatever I put on my lips would just be too much if it's a bright color. So I will go the other way around like I usually do with a red lips lipstick and yeah I might actually yeah that's what I might do. Okay so I just um, applied foundation and I used today actually foundation I used a long time Estee Lauder Double Wear and I tried to put it on really in a thin layer with a sponge, the damp sponge. It looks okay. It doesn't look amazing, of course, on dry skin, mature skin. It's not like the best, but it does stay put the best from what I have. If you compare to the Smashbox um, long wearing one, it's so, so hard to put on compared to this one even. So yeah, and even with this one, sometimes I have issues depending on what I have under. But now I use just a really nice thin like a summer moisturizer so with that it's okay and then yeah nothing nothing over that just this one over there so like this it's okay to use it for me but otherwise it tends to be like a pain to put it on anyways so to begin with i actually used um dior's transparent pencil around like on the outer part of the lip and then i used this um do you say Shiseido or Shiseido? I don't know, but that one in pink. It's not exactly like the lipstick. The lipstick from Tom Ford that I have is this one, a really bright and light uh, lipstick. So it's not exactly the same, but I think it's close enough. Anyway, I, I smudged it in that it won't be like making a big difference for the lipstick itself because I really love this color. So I want it to, to be like about this color. Anyway, this one is called Orchid, I think. Uh, no, it's not. So this uh, lipstick is called uh, Electric Pink. That's what it's called. So I'm just filling it in from the middle. And one thing that I forgot that also helps with these kind of colors is this uh, Elizabeth Arden Lip uh, Fix Cream. So that one on, a few dots of it. It's like a primer for the lips. So now I'm just dotting this one on like this. And like this. And it's the matte version, so it's gonna stay on really well. And I'm not going like um, full on with it. It's kind of just like a a satin layer of it, not uh, like uh, really going on with it. Um, so that's the pink lipstick without anything else on. Just, you know, curl the lashes and I did a little bit of this uh, L'Oreal uh, blonde eyebrow, you know, gel. That's the only thing I have on except for the foundation, of course. So that's it now then, just like that. So what I understand nowadays is like if you want to wear a bright lip, you can yeah, like wear it just like this. Is it okay or is it just looking like, oh, she forgot everything else and 
<laughs> I am not sure. So yeah, I hope I don't have cinnamon on my lips or lipstick. And anyways, you know, I would probably take my hair a bit down and, you know, a little bit like, like something like that. Anyways, is it okay you think to have nothing else on? No blush, no nothing, just the lipstick. It feels a bit strange to me because I'm used to, you know, doing kind of a full face. To at least have something on the cheeks. Maybe just a highlight. Ah, uh, there she goes again. With her highlight. I love highlights, so I really enjoy it. Anyways, I think I will do a highlight too. So in the end, I am going to take a highlight. I'm taking this uh, Estee Lauder Pink Seduction. That looks like this. This trio product and just with a fan brush maybe yeah just with a fan brush this is just a brush for painting like from an art store but I really like it it's so soft so I'm just going a little bit all over like this in the product and where should I put everything and then just sweep it in like this a bit Because this one is pretty subtle anyways. I, maybe not so subtle, but. <laughs> so what would you think? Like, is it okay just to have a bright lip and no, not even mascara on? Even if I do, I have kind of blonde lashes. I don't know if it's the best for me, like to have it like this. But, you know, I did uh, tint them not so far back. So maybe there's something still left on them. Other than that, they really blonde, like in between, like really blonde. So maybe now it's okay, but maybe usually I would do still a little bit close to the lashes to get some black back over there. But it's kind of fun to have just a bright lip, I think, and not do anything else on the face. It's like really, really simple. So if you're in a hurry, maybe this is the best look to go for. So this is now just the 999 pencil from Dior. And I used again this uh, Elizabeth Arden under it. And there's a hair. And now I'm using this metallic one from Dior in, I think it's 9992, just metallic version. I have the matte version too, which is really nice. And this one is a metallic version. Also really pretty. And well, I thought after I do this one, I will just have a kind of a mix of the pink and this together, like a, ombre kind of look with those two together I like that too and this one I just go over like oh I love this one <laughs> look at that that's just hmm that's just prettiness in the tube This one has real staying power. You can feel it even if it's a creamy version. It doesn't stay, in my opinion, less on than <clears throat> the matte one from uh, Tom Ford. I really love this metallic look in uh, this uh, orangey red. Yeah. Also with the gray. I think this looks nice with the gray too. It just makes it less dramatic maybe. But also, like for a day look, just like this, I think it's fine. You have a great t-shirt on, you can still wear a, a reddish kind of orangey lip or whatever. Yeah, I think so. So that's those two like bright kind of looks. And without anything on my eyes, I didn't even put mascara on. It feels so strange not to have anything on my eyes, like, uh, you know, eye look. I'm so used to doing eye looks, but yeah, I really like this. I'm telling you, the feel of this one, it's a feel like you know it's going to stay on. It's not exactly sticky, but it's not going like all over like some uh, lipsticks do. Okay, so last thing I want, want to try and do now with this um, two lipsticks together to do a kind of an ombre kind of look. So this one is matte, so I think I will take it from the outer corners and leave it like a glossy in the middle. 
I will just try it like this. <laughs> hmm, nice. Oh, I really like that. What don't I like a color? Ah, it's kind of. Hmm, that's not bad, huh? Kind of a middle thing. Telling you I have black hair, pieces of hair or something going all over the place. What is this? So annoying. Okay, so that's now a little bit of an ombre kind of thing with the pink in the outer corners. Of course, it doesn't look that pink anymore because it's a mix. But it definitely gives a little bit something in the outer corners if you want to mix it. I like that kind of thing. So I do it a lot with... Um, even with nudes or other kind of things, just to make a little bit of a dimension because my lips are so thin and just straight across. Not even straight, not <laughs> crooked, but you know what I mean. So anyway, they're definitely not full, but I still want to use those kind of uh, colors. And that's one good way of using them. It's like doing a little bit of ombre kind of thing, just to get some dimension to them. And yeah, so those are the really bright looks. I don't know if I have a preference. I kind of like them all, like the pink one by itself, orange metallic one by itself, or the mix. Okay, so that was me just playing around with some brighter, kind of light but bright lipsticks today. And yeah, this is the last one, the mix, two of them together. A little bit of ombre kind of thing. Not that I think you can see a big difference, but I kind of like it that way. So, well... I hope you're having a really good uh, start for winter wherever you are. Here it's still hot and I would call it summer. The air conditioner is still on and it's hot. So yeah, I'm waiting for fall and no winter is coming here, I suppose. And of course I have lipstick on my teeth and I don't even notice it. But uh, well, maybe some cinnamon too. Um, yeah. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I hope you're using all your cars and this is a really simple thing to do if you don't have time. You don't need a lot of time to put on a, a bright lip if it's like a lip that stays on pretty good. It's just to go around. This one is really helpful, I find. This transparent one, just go around the outer, like all over the lip, around it. And I did uh, draw like where, where my fake uh, tattoo is from t over 20 years ago, I think. It's also crooked, but I'm kind of following that, especially when I use a, a brighter color to make it a little bit bigger because it does go a little bit around my lips, but it's crooked. You know, it's not in the same height or anything. It's kind of screwed up. Anyways, so I did that and that's why they um, look a bit bigger than my lips <laughs> because they are. <laughs> So I think this this color is a really easy going color actually because it's metallic. I don't know why. In a way it makes it like really summery and or late summery. Of course it's late summer. It's already October almost. Okay, I have a feeling that I'm a little bit too pale, but I don't know. Maybe I would just put this uh, pretty galant thing on my cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much to it actually, but you know, a little bit of a pink sheen kind of thing. So I'm putting it, I'm trying to put it without powdering anything. Let's see how that would go. If it's possible. And it gives a lot of sheen like that, but really like a pretty kind of pink touch to the skin. So I think it looks better with something a little bit, but nothing on the eyes. I still don't have anything on the eyes. So. But here I felt like it was a little bit too pale. And also here I added a little bit down here. So, anyways, so that's what I did. Just a little bit here to give some more color because it felt really pale. But now I think I won't have battery anymore. So, well, that's it for this really like easy, easy kind of makeup and Still fun because there's a lot of color to it. So it's a like a pop of color, but leaving the eyes alone this time. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy your color still. And why not look like this? Nothing on your eyes, curl your lashes, just something on your brows. 
and I'm trying to grow them out again. I like go back and forth with that. Sometimes I feel like cleaning them up a bit more. Sometimes I want them a little bit more bushy and full. Yeah, that's just the way it goes with me. It's a little bit like my hair color. I like playing around with that too, it seems. Yeah, so yeah, hope to see you next time and be well and enjoy your colors. Now, if I still have time before the battery is gone, I just wanted to mention this L'Oreal highlighter. I think it's really neat and has a light blue, a white and a beige kind of uh, champagne color in it, like that. I don't know if you can really see the colors, the light blue. And they're really, really nice and like... What you also can do is to, to mix this uh, blue one inside a blush and then you get a bluish kind of sheen to a blush that I really like. So I tried that and it really works and it's nice. So just a little tip about that one. And yeah, of course, really affordable. Usually they have um, all kinds of uh, one plus one and all kinds of stuff with this. So yeah, 